Hi, I'm Anastasia from the Dog Spotters, and today I'm here with Lena Pazan. So, thank you for being here and thank you for your time. Absolutely, always a pleasure. You've been the head of Dog Leipzig for three years now. What did you change about the festival? Well, first of all, we um, introduced uh, virtual reality and interactive works um, that we really wanted to present to the whole city. So we started with a tiny igloo on the mar marketplace um, and that has been growing for the last three years so that nowadays we already need several hundred of square meters to, to present all the exciting new works that we have. We started um, screening films for free at the Hauptbahnhof. We receive from five, 500 to 900 people uh, basically every night during the festival, which has been a great fun. And it really creates a fantastic atmosphere there and, and for the city to celebrate films. And how did the festival change you? I think that I'm, I'm more aware of um, the cultural differences and more aware of the need of diversity that we need in our work. For example, I come from Scandinavia where uh, the position between men and women have been throughout all my, my time pretty equal. And then I think that the years here really showed me that this is not the case in every country. It has also really shown me that we all have this kind of hidden biases in our behavior. We are a little bit prejudgmental towards things without even noticing it sometimes. And I think that through the films that I've seen here and, and through the people that I had the possibility to work with, it has also changed my attitude to be more aware of things that where we could do better. And the festival has a political agenda. Does it have an impact on the film selection? The artistic quality of the films is still like the leading rule, in, especially in the competition. Uh, but of course, a good film is also a film that um, has a point of view, where the filmmaker has something to say. And, and this is something really, really important for us. And we really want to be a platform for, for films that are showing us what is going on in our society and also maybe making us think a little bit how, how we could change the situation. So a film with a completely different um, agenda ha can have a chance to be shown at the festival too? Absolutely, absolutely. And, and we have almost 50,000 people coming to see films and we really want to make sure that there are topics that are interesting for, for many, many people, that, that each target group can find something that is significant for them. A good film is a good film and it means that it's also artistically interesting. It doesn't have to be the biggest topic or the most hottest topic of the world. It's, it can be also a very personal story that is touching to us and that is that is what we really treasure here. When you are watching a film in your free time can you enjoy it or are you trying to analyze everything? I think that everybody working in the film business are kind of it's more like a lifestyle than a job so we do enjoy films a lot also in the in our private time of course you know Every time I'm watching, I can't help myself also sort of checking out the, the, the structure and why I liked it or why I didn't like it. So, so it's a little bit mixed, mixed thing. But I must say that every time seeing a good film is a pleasure, whether you do it for your work or on your, on your spare time. You decided to choose the motto, demand the impossible. What does this mean to you? For me, in a way, I think that I liked it because it gives a little bit of hope. I think that politically we have had rather tough times. Uh, the way how world politics is going today is scary. And then the idea that actually originate, it's originating from 1968 um, is somehow 
a signal that it's up to us that we can change things. So we'll all try to demand the impossible. Thank you for your time. Thank you for being here. And we wish you all the best for this week. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you all for your great job. I hope that you have a lot of fun during the festival.